Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this picture of this little dog, probably a beagle, and wanted to know my opinion on how to trace it and also how to engrave it. So I thought I would just do it and hopefully not take too long. So let's go to bitmap and resample. It's already at 300 DPI, so it's good. It's not very big. It's only an inch and a half by an inch and a half, so that makes it even better to trace. On this particular one, I'm going to go to grayscale, and I'm going to select grayscale. And then I'm going to go to trace bitmap, which is sometimes under bitmap, outline trace, clip art. I use clip art 99% of the time. And it just, it's going to take just a second. I've got remove background on, so it removed the background. And as you can see, if we put a yellow box and make the yellow box to the back of the page, you can see the, the white uh, clip art is gone. We're going to put this thing, we're going to make it a little bit bigger now. It's uh, 5.6 inches big wide I'm going to set my nudge distance on something bigger than six I'm going to set it on seven I'm going to click on the item I'm going to arrange group ungroup and I'm going to take the black part of the dog and move it one nudge to the left there's nothing there so I'm going to delete that now I'm going to take the outline of the dog and move it over now his eye is still in there Let's zoom in here a little bit. His upper eyebrow is still in there. So we'll move that over. Move that over. And that's probably pretty good. Now what I would do is group this together, control G. And it would all depend whether you want the, the ear to be a little bit darker, but we're we're going to make it all the same. We're going to make it the same shade of gray. And you can see there's a lot of hidden background in there. So let's back up here. Let's put our, let's zoom in here. Let's create a yellow box. And put the box to the back of the page. And you can see all the stuff that we do not need. So we're going to take what we want. We want his ear. And let's move it to the right one nudge. We're going to take his face and move it over. Maybe that part and that part and maybe even this wiggly line part. And maybe the deal on his nose, maybe that part of his eye. Let's zoom in here and see what we can see. We're going to grab that. We're going to grab that. Maybe grab that and that and maybe that. I don't think we need the rest of this stuff. Let's move it over to the left and see what it looks like. And that probably could work. So let's do this. Let's get rid of our yellow box. And let's get rid of all this junk. Now let's take this gray back two steps. And let's group this together. But we're going to make it all the same color of gray. Control G and we're going to group it together. We're going to nudge it up and over out of the screen. We're going to group this together. Control G. And we're going to engrave this at 100 power and let's say 60 or 70 speed. Let's just make sure there's nothing hidden now. And there's not. It's transparent. So with it in the exact same spot, after you've engraved this at 100 power and 60 speed, 70 speed, whatever your preference, nudge that out of the way. Nudge this down once and over, and then run this job. And you could do this with color mapping, but this, to me, is so much easier. And then run this at like 80 power and uh, 100 speed. And just that way, you can kind of look at it to see what it looks like. If it's not quite a, enough, rerun it. And this is what it should look like engraved. The, the gray will be lighter. The blacks will be darker. It trays pretty well. There's a couple things you could clean up, but it doesn't really matter. I would maybe ungroup it. Go up to a range. 
ungroup and maybe get rid of that little bit of gray before I did it. Um, let's just see what it looks like if we got rid of that. No, we're going to need that. And that's the way I would do it. <clears throat> when you run a job twice, to me it looks so much better. And you could actually fill this in with a little bit of gray and make it part of your gray spot right there. You could take your smart fill tool and go to a, your same color of gray that you used before and fill that bottom of the back ear in. And then, of course, you would want to group all that together. I think we've got a little part right there. Let's ungroup. We've got a little right there. We have a little mistake. I left something, so let's yellow box it. Put it to the back of the page, and I don't see anything else, and so we're good to go. Now, if you have ever questioned whether you've got something on your page from prior work, let's group our dog together, Control G, and then let's hit F4 on the keyboard. That pretty much shows that there's nothing else left. You know, if you had a little squiggle down here that you were working on, when you hit F4, it'll show up. Well, if it's invisible, it won't show up, but you'll know that there's something there. Anyway, that'll look pretty good. Hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.